guys welcome to arihant online academy in this video we will learn about coupling and cohesion it is a very important topic of the software engineering and you must have knowledge of this topic so guys let's start first the coupling is there right so what is the meaning of coupling coupling is the measures of the degree of interdependence between the modules right so whenever there are a software development then there are several modules right the work of software development generally done in a modules in the form of modules so the degree of interdependency between that module suppose this is a module b module c module as we are if we are developing a large code of software or large project then there are thousands of modules maybe there right so the dependency so the degree of their interdependency between that modules is called as coupling right now a good software will have low couplings okay it means that if a good software is there then the dependency between that module should be low right so this is the form of coupling this is the meaning of coupling right now what are the types of coupling so data coupling is there then stem coupling control coupling external coupling uh, common coupling and content coupling if you will see that the worst form of coupling is content coupling and best form of coupling is the data coupling right so how it is best and worst and what are the types of this coupling so let's discuss it in detail so first form is data coupling what is data coupling the dependency between the modules based on the fact that they will communicate by passing only data if there are two modules suppose in they are communicate via only passing data then this type of coupling is called as data coupling means in between modules if they are communicating by the fact that they are communicated by passing only data then they, this method is called as data coupling next is stem coupling right so stem coupling is that suppose there are several modules and they are communicate via passing complete data structure via passing complete data structure from one module to another then this type of data coupling is called as stem coupling in stem coupling in a software development if all modules or the most modules are communicating by transferring or passing complete data structure means the data structure of one module is passed to the second one and like that then this type of coupling is called as stem coupling the next is control coupling so what is control coupling when modules communicate via passing control informations right means one module controls the flow of other modules means suppose that these modules are there and without the permission of one module or execution of one module the second module is not possible to execute or something like that the module one is controlling the flow of this module then this kind of uh, coupling is called as control coupling for example sorting functions the next is external coupling so external coupling is when modules depends on the other modules via external to the software being developed to a particular type of hardware this kind of coupling is called as external coupling for example protocols right so there are several protocol softwares are there or the protocols are there so this kind of uh, coupling in protocols are called as external coupling because in there their software being is developed which will depend on particular type of hardware like that right so protocols are the best examples of external coupling the next is common coupling in common coupling the modules have shared data structures such as global structures right so global data structures will be there and such kind of coupling in which the modules have data structures such as global data structures are called as common coupling basically when global data structures came into the picture it is very difficult or to break track or if you change something then the whole program will change or its data structure might change or the variable may be changed so this kind of coupling in which global data structures are there are called as common coupling the next is content coupling the content coupling is that one module can modify the data of another module right so if one module is completely changing the data of other module or one module is changing the data of other module then this kind of coupling is called as con content coupling okay so control flow is passed from one module to another module in this kind of coupling control flow is passed from one module to another control flow is passed right so this kind of con uh, coupling is called as content coupling basically it is the worst form of the coupling and should be avoided because 
modules are modifying the data of or the content of another module right so it is it might create some kind of ambiguity or it may be dangerous for the software development because if one module is able to changing the data of another module then it might harm the software also or the data right so this kind of coupling should be avoided so this is the sixth form of uh, coupling and that is content coupling right basically these are the types of coupling now let's discuss cohesion what are cohesion right so cohesion it is the measure of the degree to which the elements of the modules are functionally related means there are several modules again there so how functionally they are related okay so the degree via which they are related all called as cohesion cohesion is like internal glue which keeps all modules together means cohesion it's like a functional activity which keep all the modules together in a single computer so this kind of activity or measure is called as cohesion a good software design will have high cohesion because if cohesion will be high then the connectivity between that modules will be high and your software will run executely fast and reliable and it will execute efficiently right because the modules are have high cohesion means they are functionally more related right now types of cohesion right so functional cohesion is there then sequence cohesion functional cohesion it is the it have high cohesion then sequence cohesion then communication cohesion procedural cohesion temporal cohesion logical cohesion and coincidental cohesion coincidental cohesion will have low cohesion right so let's discuss about it functional cohesion is every essential or required element for a single computer is contained in the component so every essential or required element when for a single computer when it contained in a component then this kind of functional cohesion is called as idle solution because if all the solution or all the required elements contained in the single computer right means they are more functionally related so this kind of solution is called as idle solution and this is the type of functional cohesion the second is sequential cohesion an element outputs some data that becomes an input for other element this is data flow between parts suppose one module is there again one module is there again one module is there the output of this module will be input for this and the output of this data would be input for this so this kind of modules or the cohesion is called as sequential cohesion where data flow is happening between the th this parts right so this is the sequential cohesion now the next is communicational cohesion so what is communicational cohesion when two elements operates on same input data or contribute towards the same output data then this kind of data is called as communicational cohesion right when two elements operates on the same input data or contributed towards same output data for example in a database suppose they are working for a database complete database and the complete database should go to a printer then this kind of cohesion where data is also getting collected here to ultimately print right and printer module is also there and it will also print so basically all are operating on same input data to contribute toward same output data right so this kind of uh, cohesion is called as communicational cohesion now next is procedural cohesion actually a procedural cohesion is ensures the order of the execution right so order of the execution is matters most here and the actions are weakly connected and unlikely be reusable for example calculation of gpa of a student or total gpa of a student are the perfect example of procedural cohesion where we have to ensure the order of execution what are the order of execution is that there which would be calculated there right so this is the type of G, uh, this is type of procedural cohesion now next is temporal cohesion when elements are related by their timing involved their type of cohesion is called as temporal cohesion means elements are related by their timing involved what times are involved in their cohesion is called as temporal cohesion a module connected with temporal cohesion all tasks must be executed in the same time span right so suppose this module is there this module is there this module is there this module is there then they are are functionally related and in the same time span they have to execute then this kind of cohesion is called as temporal cohesion the their timing involved is matters here right 
The next is logical cohesion. When elements are logically related, not functionally, then this kind of cohesion is called as logical cohesion. And coincidental cohesion. When elements are unrelated, elements are basically unrelated in the coincident cohesion, right? So this kind of cohesion is called as coincidental cohesion. This is the worst form of cohesion, right? So I think you have learned all the concept of cohesion and coupling in this video and further if you have any kind of queries or doubt you can comment your queries or doubt here. So we will try to solve it as early as possible. Further if you have any kind of topic that you want to learn from our side you can comment that also. So guys I hope you have enjoyed this video so please like our video and subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can't miss any of the important videos where we will update you of latest job notifications and current affairs and gk so please press the bell icon button and subscribe our youtube channel thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat